Greetings and salutations, pipe community. I'm here today with the Yabo. It's my birthday pipe. <laughs> Brendan Pinkin made it. He's awesome. It's very pretty. I can't wait to show it to you all. Who's Brendan Pinkham? He's the guy who got picked by TPC from the Pipe Makers Guild on YouTube to um, have the pipe that was put into one of the prize packs for our um, fundraiser that we had when we went down to Nashville, dear. Oh. Goodness. Apparently he kind of handcrafts his own boxes as well. Now. Enjoy. Skipsy is blue. Boontar, there is a little something for you, too. Uh-oh. Brendam 363 Pipes. Now, the reason that I wanted to open this package so badly, Boontar's like, no, you're not going to open it to your birthday. But this is why I wanted to open this package so badly today. Because this is Boontar's pipe. What? And I helped design it. Here you go, Boontar. Turn that camera around so they can see you opening your new pipe. You run along. You're not part of this. Go. Love you. Go on. No, that's mine. Bring it back to your face. It's mine. He got it. Turn the camera around so they can see. Go. It's probably easier if I just slid over there. I'll slide over here then. I'll sit in the bright spot. I can't smoke it though. Because you've already got that going. It's mommy's. It's mommy's. It's mommy's. Sit down. There's kids in the background. Can I have some more bench, please? Yes, here. Stand up, take bench, and we'll both replant our bums. There we go. Um, it's International Corn Cob Pipe Month. It though. is. Look, there's an International Corn Cob Pipe. And I'm smoking my corn cob pipes. What's in there? Honey mead from Uptown. Smells good. Go ahead, open that. I was told that the naked pipes are good for... Naked. For smoking, uh, as Crossroads Greg calls them, goopy ass aromatics. <sighs> I love Crossroads Greg. He's so so that's why I'm smoking the uh, goopy ass aromatic. Even if he does insult my favorite it? types of pipe tobacco. So. This smells like crap. Everything. When did this happen? The whole time that mine was happening. <laughs> Are you conspiring little. Yep. Come on, come on, come on. Open, 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 open. It's your birthday, though. I don't it's even you. care about mine right now. I want to see yours. Have you seen it? I've seen pictures. And you've seen pictures of that one, too? I have. You're not excited about seeing I that am, one? I am, but I'm more excited because you're getting a present. Why am I getting a present on your birthday, though? Because he wanted to express his gratitude for um, our contest and including, or not contest, our fundraiser and including him, and he thinks you're a great guy. And you are a great guy. Come on. Open, 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 open. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, I can already see some of the whatever the fuck it's called. In the There's room. whatever the fuck it's called on the room. That sucker showed me pictures of this and was asking me questions. Yeah. Look, look at you all giggly. I know. <laughs> Brendan, you turkey. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous how we call people names when they make us pipes and send them to us, isn't it? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was talking to Brendan the other day, and he's he's going to be putting up a YouTube channel. And... um. If he, I, I don't think he's got a video up yet. He told me he get me a he get me a link when he got his first video up. So he gets his video up. I'll get you a link to his channel. In the meantime, though, he's definitely on Instagram. And I think he's on three pipes. I think he's on Facebook too, isn't he? Yes. Anyway, I'll get you I'll get the link down to his stuff. This dude, I'm gonna show you this pipe in a second. This dude is making some killer work. Um, if you didn't see the, when we got the pipe from him for the fundraiser. Uh, check out that video. Like butter. I'll get I'll get links to all these videos and just put them down below in the dank basement so you can look at all these videos. But there's that one, and then there's also um, 
Chris Green is the one who uh, ended up with that pipe and his box opening of that pipe. Go check out that pipe is is just awesome. And then I, I want you to take a look at this, guys. This the, he's he's a relatively new pipe maker, and he's making some stellar stuff. So get in touch with him and get one of these pipes, especially while they're still in the affordable range. Yes, yeah, so in the affordable <laughs> range, because I have a feeling that this guy gonna is gonna be having some pipes that are yeah. gonna yeah. He's making some killer stuff. All right. You ready? Look at so pretty. Take a look at that. Look how pretty it is. That is awesome. Now put it in your mouth. I want to see how it fits. <laughs> Is it good? It's gorgeous. That's exactly what I was going for. All right. Um, maybe I'll uh, make an exception to this. I, 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 I've been talking to some guys about International Corn Cob Pipe Month, and a couple of us are saying, yeah, we're just going to smoke corn cobs for the rest of the month. So that's what I've been doing, smoking corn cob. But I may have to make an exception. That is awesome. He says, what kind of pipes does Boontar like? I said, well, Boontar likes what I like on him. And what I like on him are chunky beard warmers. That's a chunky beard warmer. And we, he said, what's that? And I said, it's any pipe that when you put it in your mouth, it hangs beautifully in your beard. And it just looks hot. It's like hot and sexy. And I love it. And that. Is, he's like, send me some pictures of some. So I sent pictures of some of my favorites that I picked out for you that fit that way. And he said, okay, I can do that. And that's what he did. So, yeah. We, we still haven't made a, an official video on the chunky beard warmer thing. But this is... Um, where it, it hangs low in the beard, and um, it just nestles. There. Yeah, it nestles in the beard, oh. and it it just oh, it's, I love it. I think it looks really gorgeous and hot. And, well, this like, whole video just took a big turn. Did did it? You want to see mine? <laughs> <laughs> Here's mine. That is well. I before we get on to yours, okay, I should right, probably right. say thank you, Brendan. There you go. That is really awesome. Thank you, Brendan. I, that's too cool. That's this even is... better than me getting mine. <laughs> I had no I idea. That mm -hmm. was completely, completely unexpected. So, really, that's... Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. That is awesome. All right, you guys. Thank see, you. That's really cool. This one has been on Instagram. Maybe on Facebook, too. It is a devil ants. We need to have a little conversation here on YouTube. Okay? You ready? Go for it. Do you tell them? The name Do you of tell this them. pipe shape <laughs> comes from that Hatfields and McCoys mini series that was excellent, by the way. Excellent. It is starring starring Kevin Costner, not Kevin's Costner. Kevin Costner. The character he played was named Devil Ants. Devil Ants. <laughs> this shape is a Devil Ants. It is not Devil's Ants. <laughs> it is Devil Ants. There is no apostrophe. There is no ownership. It's just Devil. Devil <laughs> Ants. It's it's not a it's not an ants pipe owned by the devil. No, it's not. That's my PSA for it's the pipe. A, it's a today. pipe that's named after the character whose name was Devil, devil Ants. Ants. All right. Who was not played by Kevin's Costner. No. <laughs> so, now that we've been snarky and mean, <laughs> I'm going to show you. Well, part. it's, uh, and I was even confused at first. Like, uh, I didn't know what a devil ants was or, and so I, I've heard it multiple times, devil's ants, and it's, it's, it's not devil's it's ants. Just it's just a devil, devil ants. ants. And this one in particular, it, this one isn't even a devil ants. It's not a devil ants. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? She's so purty. Because that one is so purty. It's so little and sweet and purty and fuzzy. And because that one's made for my special angel. Aww. We told Brendan, we said, well, if you don't have a problem with it, we'd like to call it an angel ant. An angel ant. So this is Skipsy's angel ant. that's Skipsy's angel ant. Because she's an angel. I really wanted something with a high contrast turquoise 
stem with that beautiful almost color of sweet tea going on on the briar there. It really, I just love that color combination. I think it's gorgeous. It's so dainty and petite. And he beautiful. said after it was done, too, he he said uh, he was a little concerned and wasn't sure about how it was going to turn out based on what she I have that effect had requested. <laughs> he's, he's like, I wasn't sure about this, but man, this really turned out nice looking. Eric gave me last year said the same thing about the one I came up with with my, uh, my, my blowfish, my Tootsie Roll. Blow, it looks like a Tootsie Pop, so I call her Tootsie, but it with the purple stem. And here, I'll just grab it and show it to you all. It's right behind me. This one. He had the same response to that one. Are you sure that's what you want? Are you? Sh I'm not sure how that's going to look. I said, no, I think it'll be fine. Let's go with it. So, yeah, apparently. Um, you can I'm, see he I'm, puts on the bottom the 363 also. That's pretty cool. Thank got, you, Brendan. These are awesome. You got on this one, too. Thank you for helping me surprise Buntar. That was awesome. 363. It's it's not easy to surprise a boontar. It's very difficult, and we did it. Go us. That's funny too because we've been having we've got a Voxer group going <laughs> with the three of us, me and her and Brendan, where we've been planning this pipe mm -hmm. and talking yeah. about the pipe yeah. and everything. So apparently, mm -hmm. there's a second one. <laughs> she's been on the side. My wife's been on the side with another man, having a conversation with uh, Brendan that I had no idea about. And he actually contacted me and said, I want to make Boontar a pipe, and what do you think he'd like, and let's make this happen. I want to send it with yours. And I said, oh, okay, well, this is the kind of pipe he likes. And Well, that's awesome. And you know what? I really it's like precious. this. This is obviously it's modeled after it's like a uh, Danish freehand kind of type thing. And I don't really have a whole lot of those like that. I've got that, uh, that's more that, that Soren pipe. It's not really more your style. It's just that you have more of them. I just don't. I prefer them. It's more. not that I don't like them. It's just that I don't really have very. It's many because when them. we go pipe shopping or yeah. see things, yeah. I go. That's what I like. I like those. Yeah, and you pick mm -hmm. out things for me that aren't like this. Like this time. So now I have one, one like this, and that's awesome because I love that this pipe has so much of the whatever the fuck it's called on the rim. That's great. Thank you, Brendan. You did a great job. Brandon, this is really, really cool. Thank you for being my birthday uh, pipe maker this year. Yeah, and, I'm making um, her an awesome pipe, too. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at it. It's so cute. I can't wait to smoke it. It's so adorable. He said this is actually the smallest pipe that he has made, and I can't remember what he said about that one, but they were both It's the chocolatiest pipe he's ever made. They were both firsts. And this well, I think he had, the, it, he, he, he had the unfinished version of this with the stem, and I think he was asking me... Um, what color yeah. would look good on this? And I said, well, with that with that orange colored stem, like a chocolate finish. And he really, that's yeah. very Winter chocolatey. knows what he's talking about, too. That's very nice. Looks very, very nice. Should feel the inside of this bowl. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, smoke it once, and it's going to be, it's going to have cake in it. I know, but. That's, you know, because you hear that all the time. Oh, how smooth this bowl is. And Greg made the point uh, not that long ago. He's like, I don't know why people get all hung up on how smooth the bowl is because you're just going to put tobacco in it and light it on fire and build up a cake in it anyway. So what this difference does it make? So that's a deep bowl. This one is pretty... Goes up to my... oh. I guess the... Uh, Works calling. I guess the, uh, the smooth interior of the bowl just shows attention to detail. Yeah, and that's what it is. So, all right. Well, I got to talk to work now, so... Thank you guys for watching. Brendan, thank, thank you, you very Brendan. much. And we'll put his information down below. Bye. We'll see you guys. Let's go get